How are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. What about you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. So, Devjit, before going forward, just wanted to have a brief discussion about like what uh, what is your tell me something about yourself. What is your overall work experience and where are you currently working? What are your expectations from CoForge and everything? Okay, so uh, currently I am working at ENY. So in total, I'm having around 6.10 years of experience in IT sector. So in ENY, I'm uh, working across three clients. So currently I'm working with Wells Fargo. So I um, basically work, worked upon uh, tech stacks like uh, Java, Spring Boot, Microservices. And in banking and financial domain projects only, basically I worked upon. So developing REST APIs from scratch and end-to-end -end development I've worked upon and issue resolving part also I have worked upon. And uh, yeah, so from uh, prior to that, I was working in CGI for one of their product. So there also I worked upon Spring Boot Microservices. And prior to that, I was work I was working on one startup company. So yeah, so this was my okay. journey. So uh, total, uh, how many companies you have worked with? Yeah, three companies. This is my third company basically. This is your third company, and you overall you have six point ten years of experience, yes, right? Yes. Yes. And what's your highest qualification? BTEC. BTEC in which year you have completed? Uh, 2015. 2015. And do you have any career gap? Mm. Means after uh, college, actually one year gap was there because uh, okay. the company called me after one year, basically. So it was like campus okay. placement was there, but that company called after uh, one year. That's right. Any specific reason for that? Uh, actually, they were hiring in pool, so a lot of people got hired. So one by one, people in a lot actually people were getting trained. So sixty sixty people were getting trained at a time. So a lot of people they have hired. So that's why it took time for joining other people. Okay, so you were working in EY from three years. So like, why you left? Why are you leaving EY? Yeah, it was, actually it was a, a good journey over here at EY, worked with uh, different uh, technologies. But uh, recently actually I've seen that uh, there are very short term duration projects from uh, past six to eight months I'm seeing. So within two months, three months, uh, the projects were getting over. And uh, one project I saw like interview happened, everything was discussed and it was final. And at the time of joining that, uh, I got to know like uh, that uh, project was over. So. I was not there to develop anything or do anything because it was already got. So you were on, so, so you yeah. you were on bench and what? Yeah, after that actually I was on bench. Then again I gave interview. Then for two three months I worked. Then again I got to bench. So like that it was happening. So this project okay. also will be finishing this month. So continuous okay. three projects I worked for two two months three months. That's it. Your current location is Bangalore. Yes. yes. Okay. And uh, so what are your expectations from Coforge? Not in numbers, but mm -hmm. generally on the technology base and what are you looking forward in CoForge and why you want to join CoForge? Yeah, so in CoForge actually I've seen like it is working on uh, diversified technologies like cloud, microservices and then uh, I think in airline services also it's working and it's uh, spread across Europe and Asia side. So I wanted to uh, work upon diversified sector basically so that I will get the opportunity to explore other uh, sectors as well. Uh, for self-development and growth and I will be applying my own technical skills as well. So uh, growth will be there in the company side as well as from our side as well. So that's okay. So first, let me tell you about the uh, let me tell you about the CoForge. So you know, CoForge is an Indian MNC. Yes. We are it's a service-based organization. So on, mm -hmm. uh, Mumbai as well. So so on. So we are currently looking for Bangalore location for this client. Okay. So you specifically you would be working for Bangalore location. Okay. Okay. And uh, it would be five days working, work from office. Okay. Okay. And rest it depends on your manager and your client. Or maybe you have to work at times from client location, or maybe you have to work from CoForge location. So it all depends on the requirement. But you should be open to work on uh, work for five days, work from office. Okay. And for the onboarding day, you have to be in uh, in Bangalore office. Okay? Okay, okay. So this would be all about it. So before proceeding with the structure, uh, Deepjit, I'm still not able to see your uh, current CTC. So can I have the password for that profile? Can you just? Yeah, I have updated there. Chart? I have updated there actually. But no, I'm still it's, uh, showing password protected only. Okay, I'm sharing it again. Yeah, just ping the me the password. Yeah, and please make sure that this uh, just uh, remove this password protection because to release your uh, offer, it would be released from another uh, team, so they would be requiring the password as well. Twenty two is fixed in it. Yes. Okay. So 
so let me just explain you what uh, what salary structure we have so we don't have any fixed or variable component separately okay, okay? so whatever i would be offering you that would be including 5% of variable okay. plus there would be a medical uh, medical claim deduction on annually basis and okay. rest is all fixed okay, okay. okay. have uh, see everything over here depends on the approval mm -hmm. okay, okay. Uh, i would be sharing your expectations to the management that you are expecting this much yeah and that i can understand but, yeah but hmm. yeah Mm -hmm. because see that's what i say that you have to be real, you have to be open with it because i can't give you any surety that i would be able to offer you this much on okay okay, okay? Mm -hmm. so uh, any other any other doubts do uh, like all your uan accounts has been closed in your current uh, in your uh, current organization or your previous organization any moonlighting any freelancing you have worked or so because see it would be it's better that you can tell me right now because it will come in background verification and it will create an issue even yeah, you yeah. can understand that yes, right yes, yes. Yeah. so anything like that any any organization you have worked for one month or few days and you left that organization no like that i haven't done like a part time work mm -hmm. i have done with the check india private limited just solving maths problems and all for students mm -hmm. so apart from that mm -hmm. i haven't done anything extra so it, it was that transacted in una or so or it was uh, just uh, yeah, actually it is uh, showing it there uh, check india like that it's showing but uh, there was not uh, formally something like that just uh, i've given the exam it was clear so i was just uh, giving the solution to the answer to the questions which uh, students are posting but do you have any written proof for that uh, written proof means uh, written proof as in any letter or something to just to justify that uh, work uh, i will see in the mail it might be there yeah because if if the transaction is in the is in the, that uh, uan and it shows the open date and an exit date then you have to give me a proof for that okay okay sure okay, okay. just check that meanwhile just uh, share the offer letter the capgemini offer letter with me i will just okay. work on your offer okay, on sure. the same email the invite which i have shared with you you can share that any other questions from your side or i hope everything is clear today is 4th uh, 3rd Fourth. of june over here right 4th june basically it's 4th june so you can join us on 6th june yes yes okay yes. so what is your joining date in capgemini it's 6th june it's 6th june uh, same yes yes okay so why you want to why you don't want to join uh, capgemini and you want to join coforge yeah so uh, basically they were like uh, we have to give uh, client sounds basically and uh, it is it was for pune so i wanted to look for bangalore location basically okay capgemini is in pune uh, offer yeah. is for pune location yes yes okay okay fine okay so you can just share the counter offer with me i will just work on your offer and i will get back to you yes yes sure. okay okay how much time and one more thing uh, okay. most probably by it, uh, this week i will get the uh, get this done so okay. one more thing like for example i offer you uh, as compared to capgemini only okay mm -hmm. but the location is bangalore and over there you are getting the location in pune so what would be your priority bangalore will be my priority as well bangalore will be your priority yes yes so that means you are good with 25 also <laughs> why 25 i'm just i'm just i'm just trying no. to understand see obviously the uh, location is your preference right yes, yes. you want bangalore yes, yes right so if i am giving you an offer letter of uh, bangalore location plus i am giving it more than capgemini maybe a lakh more but it would be even fixed part would be also coming more and the overall ctc is also coming more yeah and you are I'm, getting the bank yeah but i am hmm. having another offer in pipeline no of 26 so uh, so minimum you are have it. it's not it's not with you right now right it's yes, just yes. on an assumption basis yes yes definitely will, even you can under two, three days basically. if it comes in two three days then it is fine mm -hmm. if it if it doesn't come so obviously we can't live on an assumption basis right yeah even you can understand that yeah but okay. it will be like a way below the expectation basically i was expecting somewhere around 20 so 25 will be on a lower side basically Okay, let me just work on your. Well, let me just work on your offer and whatever the approvals I would be getting, I will get back to. Okay, okay sure. No okay, have you shared the counter offer with me? Yeah, yeah I'm sharing. Okay, sure.